makes you wanna feel better about yourself. Yo, that song is crazy. <laughs> like dead ass, bro. Like what the fuck is up with my chair? Dead ass, bro. That song is crazy. Nah, I'm not crying, bro. Nah, why well, I'm gonna cry, nigga? Like, I'm cool, nigga. Life is life is definitely moving good for me too. Like, I'm not saying like. It just comes sometimes you got to realize too. Let me let me talk to y'all for a second for real. Like that song was fire. If y'all like I said, go to that dude's one. Like you, you got to sometimes realize too. Like you know you're you're sometimes at fault, right? Like it's, you, and and it's like the first step of anything. You got to learn how to admit and and accept your L's. I think that's that makes you a better person type shit. And um, we getting a twelve minute video reaction max to all this shit getting edited out. <laughs> but like you know you. Gotta sometimes admit when you're wrong. I think that's a, a big step for a lot of people. You know, it may, may be simple to you, but for a lot of people, that's a big step. And so I think it's like um, I'm definitely man enough now and, and mature enough now, you know, my, my, my later life to be like, you know, I fucked up. It was my bad. I was acting like a dumbass, you know, like, and uh, yeah. You feel me? It's my advice to y'all young bloods, right? Next track is Treacherous Twins. Back to the Savage Bag. Oh. You my twin. You my twin. You my treacherous little twin. You my twin. You my treacherous. For what they say, 500 million off the face, feel like KK. And I know the city that we from, not a safe man. When I need a friend, you my only friend. Yeah. You my twin. You my twin. Oh, then I'm 21. Who would do the things we do for each other, nigga? No one. You my treacherous little twin. He said, "You my treacherous little twin." That's that's some devious. I gotta start using that. You my treacherous little shorty. <laughs> you a little treacherous. <laughs> You know, it's kind of crazy when you think you're you a little treacherous. <laughs> oh, man. Treacherous little twin. That was a cool track. I definitely think I could listen to that in the car. Like, you my treacherous little twin. Treacherous. <laughs> I'll play a whole time for I have. You. I like how it has a little Lauren Hill, um, like, I has like the little Lauren Hill, like, uh, what's that called? Like the Lauren Hill fucking um, birds playing. Shit is crazy. Man. And you know that we locked in, and I love you like my kin. It's whatever for you. Like I fuck with that track. I actually fuck with that. Like no, on some serious shit. Like I'm fucked up. But like I actually fuck with that track. Real shit. Like that's that. I took a shot. Track nine, Circo Loco. Yeah, they definitely fucked them Spanish bitches, boy. They got all these Spanish. Did they really sample one more time? I'm gonna celebrate. <laughs> to a thousand dollars. This bitch lie about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. She don't even get the joke, but she's still smiling every night. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Wait, what? This bitch lie about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? Hey! <laughs> what did he say? What? What? Check her Twitter? Hold on. Hold on. Why is Adam Levine still in my... Um, um, no, I'm very popular, but y'all gotta stop attaching weak-ass conspiracy theories. And bars to my name. Laugh on niggas nor hoes ever address me or at me with a fact or receipts. I am clout, bitch. Keep sucking my pussy. Crazy last line there. A stallion is slang for all. Tall, thick woman. He says stallion, though, so technically he did say your name. A stallion is slang for a tall, thick woman. Stop using my shoot. Stop using my shooting for clout, bitch ass niggas. Since when the fuck is it cool to joke about women getting shot? You niggas, especially rap niggas, are lame. Ready to boycott about shoes and clothes, but dog pile on a black woman when she say one of y'all homeboys abused her. <laughs> <laughs> they said they said Drake right now. <laughs> I'd rather hit him up one more time. Hey, 
Known a girl for six months, then up at my place. But I got great, and she took a skull. Now shorty got a hydrate. And he did some dirt. Now my crody got a migrate. Been the one to go apologize. Me, I'd rather hit him up one more time. I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to look at the hint. Taste if I would have stayed. I've been thugging all my life, that just how I play. Still posted in the A when niggas feel me. Still gotta see the gunners when Premier League. I know the head was great. <laughs> I don't like this song though. I'm not gonna lie to you. The things you've always wanted to do can't wait. Whether it's a, a Northwestern oh Mutual God, Advisor in Tampa again. Bay can make a funny. I don't like that track though. Oh, um, I don't like that track though. All right, next track is Pussy and Millions featuring Tr Travis Scott. <laughs> and millions, mine on Pussy and Millions. Trying to call it fucking problems, hey. Braid it up in my sweet so hit them, then I get it. But I love the hustle the most. She pretty, she sharp for toes. And my patty say came with a pole. No, I've been out late night creeping, shot slide on bitches. Posted up with the militia. Niggas ain't switch. I love this beat, man. The beat is dope as fuck, bro. Motherfucking. Only sign in the game, we the new Lucian Grange, bring on the reins, a MJ thing, I got later whips, breaking break the records, more money, more problems, it come with late night, creeping, trying to slide on bitches, posted outside militia, niggas ain't switching, mine on mission, mine on pussy and bitch. Damn, God, I wish I can get there one day. Pussy and billions. What a thought. No pun intended. <laughs> No pun intended. They say more money, more problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the motherfucking. Even though I got a sex symbol that eat my kids up. <laughs> Reminds me of like hot. Remember uh, Young Thug gonna hot. Um, I love Travis Scott's verse on there as well. I thought I thought I was gonna I wasn't gonna like Travis Scott's verse on there. I know a lot of y'all love Fair Trade. I'm still not a fair trade type of person. I don't know why fair trade still has not hit for me. Um, but um, I thought I thought Travis Scott was the highlight of that. I can't believe they called my nigga a warlock, bro. Shit is crazy, man. Shit is crazy. Bro. But I think that track was that that's that's a dope track. I'm, I'm kind of indifferent. I don't know how I feel about it. If it's a if it's a playlist or not yet. All right, time out, time out, time out, time out. All right, look. So I know that I was off the handy at this point. All right, my bad. I apologize. This pussy in millions. Fire ass track. Travis Scott's at the end, melodic as shit. It became one of my top three tracks on the album. So I apologize for whatever this nigga is talking about right here because the glasses, it's the glasses, man. It's the glasses. But this shit is fire, bro, man. I gotta tell y'all, man, this shit is fire. Um, I'm gonna do a re review. D just don't pay attention to, like, and again, you get you guys, even for the Patreon people that saw it, you guys were there for the live stream. This track right here is top three, man. Just the melody, everything, the drop, Travis Scott melodic rodeo kind of, you know, uh, nostalgia at the end. It was just an overall dope ass track, and just, just don't pay attention to whatever's gonna fuck up. The Vine boom sound effect, that, that uh, like that Donnie song too. Which Donnie song? Um, them uh, delayed death theme song. Put the Travis verse back. Obviously, you remember Hot Free Gunna for you. Reminds me of Family Ties. Dun, 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 dun. I can kind of see that, yeah. Um, Cuddy Wizard, Travis Warlock. <laughs> if a beat has horns in it, that means it's finally uh, it's Family Ties ripoff. Uh, says who? Dev, did she reply? <laughs> Y'all are funny, bro. Funny. Track 11, Broke Boys. You know what? We'll take a little mini shot for that. <laughs> That sounded like SpongeBob. So. Track 11, Broke Boys. Hey, hopping in, bitch, and I start the V. Snakes in the grill, unless you was trying to go broke. Whoa, I got more stripes than Adidas. Yeah, I got the stripes, but fuck Adidas, nigga. I don't chase. I got the stripes, but fuck Adidas, nigga. God damn. Oh, shit. He said, yeah, I got a <laughs> Damn. That's a shot, boy. This in my hand like I'm playing a week. Block babies will spank you for free. We rough niggas up now, they begging for peace. Babies. Hey, stepping on shit. I'll slow to reverb. My bad. I don't use that. As, as we noticed earlier, I'm not really good with the uh, acronyms. Uh, ASL, ASL. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not really good with the acronyms, you know. I just like to say my shit out loud. <laughs> I like I don't got no time for I like the first half more than I like the second half for sure. I can't talk to a bro boy. No, no. I can't talk to a bro boy. I can't talk to that nigga's crazy. Yeah, I definitely don't like that second half for sure. How y'all feel about the album so far? Straight up. So far not disappointed. Album of the year. It's a good listen. Uh better than the last one. Best of the three last he dropped. I have hopes. Dev, you look Hollywood right now. I have a hunter hunter sweater on and glasses. <laughs> How am I Hollywood? Really? Miles ahead of CLB? Uh, I wouldn't say Miles ahead. Best Sense Views? What? It's a great album, but I wish there was more to it. CLB was a great album. Um, I feel like they keep up with the theme pretty good, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely was expecting a lot of rap, though, with 21 Savage on here. I will say the one thing I'm surprised about so far is that the fact that 21 Savage is kind of... Um, there's not really a lot of shine from 21 Savage. It feels more so that 21 Savage is a feature than anything. All right, next track is called Middle of the Ocean. Look, long way from set to mezzo. Me to Mazo in a nesto. Short rigatoni with I had to let go. Life insurance policies, you niggas about to need to get go. I got some meaner threats, though. The way they raving about the latest product. Teaching niggas how to mind their business and my latest stuff. My be the only teacher that That's But now they got to pay that shit direct to me. I send a label bills, bills, bills like the other two women standing clouds. I'm serious. The lyrics begin to reveal themselves over time. My favorite word from you white boys is sign here. That's fucked up. <laughs> Yo, niggas can't be FedEx drivers and shit. Amazon driver. No other race can be. <laughs> that's fucked up. Like, that's kind of fucked up. Maybe he's talking about like rich, like real estate. You know, when you're buying cribs and shit. Maybe he's talking about more so that like, because, you know. You know, like, oh, ha sign here. You know, like, when you buying shit, you know. Like, talking, about, talking about business deals. Yeah, yeah, see? Yeah, exactly. I picked that up. Yeah, my bad. Contracts, yeah, yeah. Order the rings. Thick as a script for the movie. Shout out TV Gucci. My cousin is spooky. I swear you don't even mean what... My bad, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm off the handy, nigga. Can, can... My mind take it, it take a little bit. I, you see, I caught myself. I didn't even have to read. I caught myself, you know, like, you know, like, damn. Niggas couldn't even let me get 20, 15 seconds. God damn, let me 15 seconds to come back to it, you know? Hey, like y'all dubbing a movie, sidebar, Serena, your husband, a groupie. He claim we don't got a problem, but no boo it. Damn. How Serena catch a body? Yo, you know what I was saying? I'm going to say this right here. Like, you think I was down bad because I was reminiscing about my little shorty. I feel like Drake, and I mean this respectfully, and all due respect, right? I feel like when Drake loses his ex, I feel like there's just no good terms. Like, I feel like Drake is just super petty with all his previous shorties. Whether he's going to name drop him in a song or whether he's going to... Hey, listen. Yeah, but dissing her husband is dissing her. <laughs> it's, her it's her husband, nigga. Like, <laughs> her loss. Like, right? Like. Your husband a group like you you basically essentially dissing her if you dissing her husband they like uh so title called her loss for sure no no i get that but i'm just saying it's not it's not just this album drake always um has been doing this you know like um so it's kind of just crazy when you look at it like you know drake remember we always have this conversation bro i feel for drake like drake can have 99 percent of the women in the world but he can't have that 1% that he wants. And it's always about what you want, not what you can have. You feel me? Um, yeah, yeah. He's allowed to be that, though. Oh, for sure. I'm not saying he's not allowed. I'm just pointing out what's what. Be giving me head and somehow you not topping me. Niggas see the six guys pass. They high-fiving me. Need to be high six in me. Swear niggas high. Now let's find Ask the motherfuckers I see them be playing. Middle of the ocean. <laughs> Wait, he's still damn Birdman. I thought they weren't cool, with Birdman, but I guess they are. But like uh, that track right there, I felt like personally, I love Rap Drake, and I know a lot of the fans are not happy that Drake got um, you know, that they got Rap Drake. You know, there's definitely been all throughout this album um, with a couple like you know a few slow songs. Um, the one thing I'm seeing here though is like the next like three tracks is all drake 
I'm not really appreciating that. I don't like how there's it's supposed to be a joint album between Drake and Twenty One, and I feel like it's just been mostly Drake. Um, the middle of the ocean track, you know, I think it went entirely too long. I would have definitely liked it a little bit short, but if you're into just Drake just rapping and enjoying his his bars and shit like that, that's definitely going to be one that hits. Uh, but I felt like it was it was fire, but. You know, I feel like, you know, I got certain rap Drake tracks that I do like enjoy, though. I mean, I definitely need a good beat, and I think that sample is definitely fire. But, you know, that's just it's kind of just whatever, you know. Like, I, yeah, somebody said it earlier. said uh, that's a Drake track that we already heard. Drake's been doing this now for the last eight years, nine years. So it's another thing, too, you know. Um, the fans love rap Drake. Twitter is loving the album. Oh, for sure. Exactly. They love rap Drake. Like, well, it's not even just rap Drake. It's just rap Twitter. If it's not rap Drake, then they don't like it, you know. Uh, if you're saying hours of silence is bad, that's that just tells me in, in itself that they just want rap Drake. Even if it's a mediocre rap Drake, they'll just be like, "Oh, it's good," you know, like just because they haven't got it in so long. Uh, track track thirteen is Jumbotron shit pit, sh Jumbotron shit popping. If I tell this bitch to pull up, she gon' mo pit it. My doggy don't smoke on shit unless it's unleaded. I don't back and roll out. Who won't smoke? Okay, cool. Let's stay whole camp. I feel like Drake has just been hanging out with like the young people too much. Like it just don't sound right sometimes when Drake does it. Like I, I just like it just it just does not sound right when Drake does like the younger generation shit, you know. There's times where he's cool with it, but like that was that was not it for me. Like I don't know, man. Like I like there's I don't know, if you ask me personally personally you know, I think that this is, you know, it's it's cool that they did a collab. I don't feel it's like as much of a collab, but I do think this is Drake's weakest project. So far from the first listen, you know, again, it's first listen, you know, time will tell differently. But I'm saying as a first listen, there's, every other album is better than this. Like, it's just, for the first time, listening to a Drake album, I'm kind of like, um... You know, like, I'm just like, uh, like, this is the first Drake album where I've been like, you know, eh. even when we listened to CLB, there was like, you know, nine to 10 tracks or not. What was it? 10? I think it was like eight or nine tracks. I initially like, I've only really liked, I've only put three tracks on this album on my playlist. Like I've only put three <laughs> tracks of this. That's the thing though. You saying I'm drunk though, but I haven't taken a shot in like five tracks. <laughs> like, I haven't taken a shot in five tracks, you know? Like, one, two, three. You no know, pussies a million. Okay, I took a shot there. Circo Loco, I didn't take a shot there. You know, like, he says this every Drake album. Yeah, do I say that every Drake album? You know, the one thing about being a YouTuber and, you know, that I love is the receipts are there, brother. So, um, you can go watch the videos and tell me which drake album i've said that about because i'm pretty sure i praise views when everybody hated views <laughs> boy was y'all wrong praise more life when everybody said more life was shit <laughs> boy was y'all wrong <laughs> um what else did i praise that everybody hated honestly never mind oh definitely praise that <laughs> boy was y'all wrong um yeah uh you do and then be like the album was fired days later i've never the, the receipts are always there you're not listening correctly. Um, yeah, I've 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 literally only shit on one Drake album, and the one Drake album that I shit on was, honestly, never mind. That's the only Drake album I disliked. Honestly, never mind. Was the only Drake album. I'm not honestly. Um, um, Certified Lover Boy. My bad. Certified Lover Boy was the only album. Scorpion. I love Scorpion. Go watch the video. I love Dark Lane Vic. I love Dark Lane demo tape. Go watch the video. <laughs> like the videos are there. I never, I never disliked any of the albums. I loved all the albums. So yeah, I've literally, I, uh, I literally, I've literally loved every Drake album. And the only Drake album I did not like initially was CLB. And I didn't even say I didn't like. It. I just felt like there was leaks and there was like two tracks or whatever. And then 
The other track that I, album that I like is this is this album. I've been very consistent on what I say. So like the receipts are there. So that's how I know the mother. I get it. You know, you guys haven't been watching me for seven years. You've probably been watching me for the last two years. So, you know, when you see one thing, you're like, oh, you said that on the last Drake album. You said that about all the Drake albums. I get it. But you didn't watch me for the last seven years. So, you know, you're talking out your ass. You know, Views I loved. More Life I loved. Um, Scorpion definitely loved. I always said Scorpion Part B. If that was just the album itself, it would be the greatest sad Drake album of all time. Um, you know, I've said that. Uh, your CLB experience was definitely, yeah, definitely bad as, bad as fuck. Next track, next track. Going brave, strike like a match, knock him out his hat. Knife to a gunfight, this ain't nothing. In the trenches with no one, play me switches with extensions. Well, as far go, I don't think it, nigga. Heard your album sales tanking, nigga. I, I, I like 21 on here, you know, like I definitely like 21, but it's, it's, it's a, a simple beat again, you know. Now they hate the kid. Fuck, let me kick it basic. Niggas ain't got love for the boy, so they fake it. My boy ain't no. Why you was acting like this, boy? I swear to God, how you was act Fire track. All right. Possibly, arguably, my top three on the album. Next to uh, pr uh, Privileged Rappers. Privileged Rappers is dope as fuck, but again, I was a little lit. I apologize. This shit in the whip, in the gym, in any type of environment with energy, this shit hit. So my question is to uh, ask, like, that was a cool track. I think that was a cool track. My question is, um, so from what we, what we got from the album, okay, aside, I guess, uh, aside from Pussy and Millions, what is going to be the track on here that is going to be the single? What is the single track on here? Because I'm actually trying to figure it out right now. Like, what is the spin about you? Spin about you, okay. Her loss, CLBN, never mind. Spin about you, spin about you too. He ain't dissing Ken Kendrick. He don't want to smoke. Spin about you are hours of silence. You know, it's crazy. If it really is hours of silence, then that literally is a slow Drake track on a rap album. So and hopefully it's not hours of silence. I pray it's not hours of silence. I'm trying to figure out which is going to be the track because I don't hear any of these tracks yet being that like sticky or being that like, you know, uh, I'm too sexy or, um, you know, champagne poetry or, you know, the um, hotline bling or, you know, uh, Gal Chester or something like I, I don't I don't, I'm trying to figure out what track is going to be that no BS rich flex treacherous twins. I can see girls want girls broke boys uh, middle of the ocean Travis. the tra I, Well, I, I'm, I'm assuming the Travis record. Like, that's where I'm going to go. I think that's a safe choice. I think the Travis record is going to be the safe choice. Uh, hold on, we're going home. Like, I'm trying to figure out which track is going to be at, which I think going to be. Uh, the t yeah, and then what can be the TikTok sound as well? You know, major distribution. Is that major distribution? In this mech coffee, text me on the signal, don't call me. I can see that being the TikTok song, but I can't see that really being the, uh, what's that called? Spin about you. You. you started dancing to pay your tuition, girl, I want to know How they rather stay home Yeah Jealous assholes Yeah, yeah I can see Spin About You being the, um, the, the, the what's that called? Circle local for TikTok for sure I mean, but 21 In the drop For sure, 100 Hundred percent, Circle Loco definitely for the TikTok. One more time, yeah, I could definitely see that as a TikTok. You're right, Dev. There really ain't a single like song on here. That's what I'm saying. So like, a Drake album without a single song, like, a single kind of like, you know, that's kind of the part where I'm just like, what the track? There's not has been a track yet that popped out for me that's been like, yo, like, this is going to be like the song that like everybody fucking just plays, like. <laughs> Um, back outside, boys, TikTok. I don't really hear a hit though, you know, like Circle Local equals TikTok. Yeah, Circle Local is definitely TikTok, 100%. Um, uh, a Drake album with no hits is crazy. Uh, like 10 or TikTok. Hours in Silence went crazy. Isn't that good though? Uh, not necessarily, y'all. You guys kind of stereotype being a mainstream hit song is bad. You know, if it's not, you know, you got, you guys talking about Gatekeep, like, I don't want to tell you where my hoodie's from, Gatekeep. Like, you guys want to gatekeep just because, you know, no one knows about it. Like, it's kind of this perfect example. Like, I got this fire hoodie on, right? 
but I'm not going to tell y'all this shit because it's fire. You know, I'm a gatekeeper, you know, like, you know, just because no one out now. But if everybody wears this, and now if everybody wears this, it's not fire anymore. So if everybody listens to the song, is it not fire anymore? No, it's still fire. Everybody just listens to the song. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't like Way Too Sexy, but I definitely respect what Way Too Sexy was. You know, like, you know, I definitely said that this is going to be, everybody's going to like this shit, but I hate this shit. There's a lot of replay value. Like, yeah, underground fans trying to gatekeep Destroy Lonely. Yeah. So where did you get that hoodie? <laughs> I, 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 someone linked the hoodie. I don't have the website, but I, I linked it, the website. I'm doing a fucking movie, right? I'm doing a fucking reaction right now. <laughs> I, I, I can't get Everyone going crazy for the album on the uh, on the net for sure. Um, next track is uh is three a.m. on Glenwood. It's a twenty one savage track. Even though Jehovah for them won a the Grammy and I couldn't even show it to him. Put my face inside the lineup, niggas know that I'm him. Throw the window, hit the lights, boom. Everybody wish they switch sides when we come in. Every time man a CJ, you ain't one of mine. Braids on my neck, nigga, I ain't got no. This shit's far as fuck. Yeah, I, I like that. You know, 3 a.m. in Glenwood. Um, definitely, uh, you know, a time location track. Uh, we all know the Great Tron. Nah, 9 a.m. in Dallas. You know, 5 a.m. in Toronto. That's been a, a fire, a fire series from Drake. Um, 6 p.m. in Calabasas. One of my favorites. I gotta say too. 6 p.m. in Calabasas is crazy. Um, you know, I definitely love how 21 did that as well. Again, I always say 21 has evolved in his music just because he's able to hop on these kind of like um, these soulful type of beats. And, and they're just dope as fuck when he hops on them and shit. So um, I think that's pretty dope, man. Like, I, I love that track. That's definitely a shot right there. So we definitely gonna take a shot for that. Hold on. Definitely gonna take a shot right now. Track 60. I guess it's fuck me. Don't go hiding again. Tell me what I have done wrong. Tell me what I have done wrong. Being real was a crime, I be doing life Like that nigga not nice, I don't know polite I'm the first ever any social You already know the vibe And they leave cause of pride But they coming back every time The devils that I even land in the Hamptons They didn't have the stairs for the shit I fly I swear it's like a metaphor, I can't even get But the sun up shines on me On me Sleeping in the whip sometimes, girl. I was sleeping up. Don't go hiding again. I love the, like the little horns in the back. Like, that's definitely a playlist, bro. All right, man. I gotta tell you, man. Like, I'm happy with the tracks that I took. At least, um, I'm going back to look at how many tracks I added to my playlist. Um, let's see. Pussies and Millions, I guess it's Fuck Me. 3M Glenwood, Treacherous Twins, and Privileged Rappers. Two, uh, four. <laughs> did I not add, where, wait, did I not add, what's that called? Hours in Silence? Oh, Hours in Silence definitely better be on my playlist. What the fuck? Yeah, okay, Hours in Silence is always there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six tracks. Um, not mad about it. Again, I'm at the point now where um, you know, I don't really, you know, care about ratings nor do I care about, you know, being a critiquer. I'm just listening to music and giving my opinion on it. At the end of the day, if you give me four or five tracks on an album, three tracks even, to where I can just enjoy myself and I had a good time, then I can't even be mad about it. Um, you know, I took the the six tracks that I got there on my playlist. You know, if you had to ask me though, uh, you know, y'all already know how I feel about it. I think this is off of a first listen, of course, you know, that's all I can do is the first listen is what I do. But uh, Mr. Freshy Fresh, welcome to the stream. Hello. Um, I just feel like it's just kind of a just a, you know, it's, it's the worst album out of everything he's done. Something has to be at the bottom, though. You remember, um, you know, Tom Brady was is a six time Super Bowl champion. He's still a goat. But one of those Super Bowls was his worst Super Bowl. <laughs> but that's like saying what's the, what, imagine hearing that a worse Super Bowl, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad album, I'm just saying. It's the worst album out of his uh, discography. I mean, for comparing, um, I think the album was pretty decent. 
I didn't like how 21 Savage was kind of overshadowed by Drake, though. I think it's really hard when you get a combo album, when you get a, a duo album. Um, it's really hard to kind of master. You know, look at an album like, uh, you know, Without Warning. Look at an album like um, uh, What a Time to Be Alive. Uh, you know, shit like that. Those albums, you know, you gotta give it gotta give us a, a back and forth kind of feel. Whereas more so, I thought that this was a Drake album, and you know, more so a Twenty One Savage feature uh, than anything. You know, it, it didn't feel like it was. Um, you know, Twenty One Savage was more so involved. Whether he was just kind of, it didn't feel like they were side by side. You know, it wasn't like a Batman Robin thing. It was more like, you know. Drake was playing offense and 21 Savage was playing defense. You know, that's really what kind of what it felt like. So, um, the album was cool though. I think it was cool, uh, for, to be like kind of slowly announced, not really much of a rollout other than today. I think it was pretty cool. Uh, 21 Savage. I think this does great for his name more than it does for Drake. Um, there's definitely going to be some tracks on here that, you know, a lot of people are going to like, you know, this is a rap album for the most part. There's only about three to four tracks on here that are really kind of slow, but this is definitely a rap album for sure. So the rap fans got what they wanted. And I guess the rap fans in time will tell you what this album is. Again, we'll see you in time where this ranks and how people feel about it. Again, I'm still trying to figure out what is going to be the feature track on here. That's the, or the single track on here that's going to be played most. Um, obviously, we are in a TikTok era of music. So uh, we already named kind of what the songs like Circo Loco will definitely the Daft Punk sample will definitely be a kind of TikTok ish kind of song major distribution as well. But uh, you think you know what songs could grow on you? Um, it's kind of hard to tell, really. Um, I, 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 you know, we're going to go through Scorpion and, and, and some other shit to tell you how, you know, just show you guys. Usually you have to say it and I have to show you, show you what's fire and shit. But, um, you know, when you see, you know, seeing shit like that, I just don't know which one could gr possibly grow on me that, you know, I just, uh, like I said, uh, maybe Pussies and Millions even more, even though I already added. Maybe Broke Boys as well um you know uh, rich flex or all my bs could probably grow on me as well maybe um yeah we're still going through yeah we'll, we'll definitely go through for for a little bit i got i got some henny still in me and shit so we'll talk about it but first listen um i would probably give it a seven and a half out of ten uh hours in silence again one track doesn't define what an album is you know hours in silence obviously one of my favorites i guess is fuck me um that's kind of cool too i like i also drake was throwing shots at a lot of people he was really not giving one fuck, and he was just kind of throwing shocks. You know, like, and everybody loves Flex Drake. So everybody loves Flex Drake, and, you know, it's, it's we'll see where it goes. We're just, we'll just see where it goes and how people feel about it within the coming months, and then, you know, we'll go from there. But um, I kind of just feel like, like I took my six tracks, and, and that's just what it is. So that being said, though, man, I love y'all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Stick around if you guys want to listen to the other albums. Or not listen, but, like, go through it so I can prove my point or show you my side of my point. Um, till the next time, it's your boy Dev. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff. If you want to watch the full video, it is on Patreon, even though I'm saying this. doesn't matter because this part won't even probably go on YouTube. But uh, it is on Patreon. If you guys don't have the Patreon, go ahead and hit that. And until um, the next time, it's your boy Dev. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff. Till the next time, yeah. peace.